Um, I'm going to go ahead and call the meeting to order. Call this meeting of YK Fiscal Court to order on the 13th day of September 2022. It's shortly after 5 p.m. Uh, I'm going to ask our uh, uh, Danny Menton in the back to lead us in a prayer and a pledge to the flag. Are your most precious heavenly Father, thank you for this day that you've given us. Thank you for our many blessings that have been bestowed upon this community, our state and country. Please forgive us of our trespasses. Please give these gentlemen the guidance to make the right decisions for God in this meeting. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Dave. A lot. Okay, you got yours out of order. Um, the uh, August the 23rd minutes are there for your uh, viewing. We love motion, have to approve. motion by Sam Small to approve the minutes. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. Is there any discussion, corrections, or additions? Any discussion, corrections, or additions? If there are none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like that? What you care? Before you can have the bills, claim, payments, and transfers, including a late list. Let me look at this late list. Motion to Sam Small. Second. Second by Larry Morphy. Is there any discussion? Give them time to. Yeah, yeah we are. Give me just a minute. Yeah. We'll see, are. we got the new Mac price. Yeah. Were you pleased or displeased? Well, it's gone up, but I think they kind of already indicated to Nick that it was what they're going to bring next year yeah. and what the ones are going to bring this year. We think our so old ones a year old will bring a lot more than this one. Yeah. We really need to look into that, maybe that single ice program. And there's something else we have to do along that line too, after we can fill space. And I'll do it right then before I forget it. I'm good, yeah. All right. Uh, no, no further questions. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion by Sam Small. Second. Second by Larry Morphy. Is there any discussion, corrections, or additions? Give them time to give them time to get their bills paid. Yeah. 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 We need to go ahead on this uh, truck that's going to the sale. Uh, we need to go ahead and declare it surplus, even though we've already sent it down there and to, to say that anyone that's interested can, uh, will advertise, and anyone who wants to bid on it can at, the, uh, uh, at that auction. Move to surplus. <coughs> Motion by? Second. The old man. You can get what number is this? Uh, the number of the truck? No, but on here. It's not. I'm it's sorry. not okay. But right now, while we're talking about it, we've got a motion second. Did you get to the second? Yeah. Okay. Any further discussion? Hang on. We'll start the truck. Okay. That's good. All in favor say aye. Aye. Close the like sign. Uh, Miranda, would you get the information from Nick and go ahead and run the ad and know I can't count the news for one week and name the place where the auction is going to be so that if anybody here wants to go down there and bid on it, they could. Right. Judge, I make the motion we acknowledge the treasurer's August 2022 financial statement. I'll second. Motion Sam, second with Joe. Uh, any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign? That's true. <coughs> Judge, I make a motion to accept the clerk's August 2022 financial report. I'll second. I'll second. Okay. Second by Jason. Motion for Sam, second by Jason. This is on the clerk's. 
The uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like to sign. Motion carries. Uh, ordinance 2023-2. That's a budget amendment. This is the second reading. Okay. Oh, okay. Motion by Larry. Second. Second by Joe. That's for the water going out to Bluegrass and crossing the Grand. Uh, I'll say it right here. Faster. Okay. Uh, if there, well, since it's the ordinance, you're going to roll call it. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Cal? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Okay. Uh, that ordinance, it's second reading is passed and it's law. Okay. Uh, we had, just advertised this way and everything, a bid opening at 4 o'clock for the Rough River cleanup. Uh, Larry Count is going to read the bids, the, the winning bids anyway, and then we'll have a motion because we're not going to be able to word the bids right now. So we're going to be able to say where the bids were. Right, Larry? Right. Okay. Uh, on site one, uh, extreme ex excavation at $185,000. On site three, Carroll Route, $325,000. Site four, Carroll Route, $165,000. Site five, Carroll Route, $85,000. Site six, Extreme Excavation, $210,000. Sites seven and eight are combined together. Uh, extreme ex excavation got it at eighty-two thousand six hundred dollars. No, it's fifty-five thousand. Do what now? That was fifty-five thousand for them. For the two? Yes, sir. Yes. yes, sir. Okay, that that was for the other bid, the other two. Yeah. But the seven and eight, seven and eight are added together then. Yeah, fifty-five. Yeah. At fifty-five. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, then we'll go to uh, extreme ex excavation on site nine, $285,000. Site 10, Kyle Addington, $49,400. And site 11, Carol Addington, $34,600. $34, and what we want to do is uh, I want to make a motion to acknowledge the bids and table the bids until we hear from our phone. Second. Motion by Larry Count, second by Sam Small to table the bids till we hear from our funding. Okay. okay. Any discussion? Being now, I'll say aye. 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 Opposed like sign. Motion carried. We had advertised for a uh, under from the ARPA funds for a truck for the city of Centertown and I'm understand we have no bid, correct? Correct. We had no bid. We also advertised for equipment for the Hartford Fire Department, same way. There are two bids. Uh pass those to Joe for opening. And uh you can wa watch over it there, Jason. Appreciate that, Chief. Well, you can read one thing. Uh, this bid here is from MES. Multiple emergency services. package, um, a spreader, a RAM package, 
and the power supply. The total is $29,175. Twenty-nine, you said? $29,175. Okay. And who is that? Uh, the MES. There you go. So, okay. okay. Larry? I mean, Jason? The second bid, I'm sure, I guess that's a sheet right there. It's Atlantic Emergency Solutions. They got a little symbol. Atlantic Emergency Solutions. Solutions, uh, same brand. Uh, the cutter is nine thousand two hundred sixty-one dollars and ninety-three cents. The spreader package is nine thousand eight hundred six dollars and ninety-six cents. Uh, the ram package is six thousand seven hundred eighty-eight dollars and thirty-six cents. Power supply adapter is five hundred eighty-three dollars and forty-six cents, making a total of twenty-six thousand. Four hundred forty-six dollars and seventy-one cents. And in case if anybody wants to know, they were itemized on my paper. I did it by the total, but I just looked at all those numbers, and on my bid, they were all higher. And I think it's the same brand too. Is it the Hurst Hurst? Yeah. There is a. The only reason I don't know if there's different brands and spreaders and uh, cutter packages, Charlie. Joe, there's a lot of numbers here. The fire chief of Harper sat right here. He can come up there and look at that. So, do we want to go ahead and look at passing this tonight, or do we want to table it and let them go through the bid? Or I think you all have looked at the bid in that way. Yeah. That just don't want to get in, yeah. you know, like, right. you know, maybe they bid us a, a lighter duty than what you planned. And we expect all the tools to be the same for both companies. So okay. Be same. You want to come up and look at it? You, think, you want to? You want to table it? You think it'd be okay? Go ahead and accept it then. If y'all want to, we read them off. Y'all can take them back there and look at them, and then let us know what's the meeting's up. Bring them back, good. Yeah, yeah don't, make sure you don't lose it, because here. Uh, you're good, yeah, this, we lady, this lady here would be really mad at me. I'll come after. So we'll just table that one right now. For now, we'll get later in the meeting, if that's okay. Uh, the next three items on the, on the agenda is the tax rates, which we had a public hearing for. So just so there will be no confusion i'd like to have a motion to say that we're sticking with the rates that we've passed at the last meeting so moved. motion for larry more few second second by jason book which were all the current rates of the previous yes that's for real that's 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 right. Right. any yeah. discussion do we need to do it for each one or we have to no, all. let's all right. acknowledge that we're have public hearing there's not been a change all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like that. Motion carries. Next down the extension board tax rates, we can't find them. So we won't bring them up tonight. All right, we want to find them. <laughs> the next one, well, that, uh, they've been done. And they took, just a, they took the uh, compensation. As, as Cam always says, we, 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 I'm on that board. Yeah, we passed it <coughs> and kept the, uh, the, the uh, we call it compensation. Right. Right. Okay, who's going to speak to us for the library? I am the chosen one. Yeah, uh, you're you're the one. Yes. Y'all draw straws or put <laughs> it's in it's in your brown envelope, gentlemen. Miss Melanie Warga, our library director, has presented as far as envelopes to you all with some information in it. Also, you will see as far as that we have the tax rates as far as where they were set last year and then also our rates as far as for this year. I want to thank you. I am representing the Ohio County Board of Trustees for the library. I want to thank you for allowing us as far as the privilege to present our tax rates to the fiscal court. And this year we're pleased to announce that our tax rates have decreased. 9.8 down to 9.6 for real property and from 11.96 to 9.77 for the personal property and we just want to let you know that it's always been and will continue to be our honor and our pleasure to provide the services and programs for all ages for all of our citizens at the ohio county public library and thank you all again as far as for your time and for your service thank you very thank much you. Thank you. Thank appreciate all you all doing you do a great job and, and we have a library to thank you for no. Well, we think so too, Judge, and thank you very much for this comment. So we just need to make a motion yes, to acknowledge? Please. No, actually, we accept them this time. Okay. Thank make you. a motion to accept the library rates. Sure. 
May I have a clear second? Yeah. Uh, second by the last hand. Any discussion or father's question? Yeah, further was there also an inventory tax here? Yes, and 1997. Okay. It, uh, it was personal property. So it, it went from 11 to 96. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I would like that. Let's, uh, I think that they're Let's ready see. for the Harvest Fire Department to go back to the... Uh, they ready? Yeah. All right. Man, we're going to make them stay for the last time. Yeah. 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 We can stay longer than we can. Well, we're not. Okay. That's all right. I know. If you want to lay it, go ahead. We'll do the rest. We'll go ahead and do the rest. Thanks, lady. Yeah, and gentlemen, Thank and you. John, you too. You too, John. <laughs> did did y'all accept the lower one? Yeah, the lower of the bid. Okay. All right. Sorry. No, and we just if we if we accepted the higher yeah. one, we just have to. Yeah, you have to have agreement. You're yeah. gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and make a motion that we accept the Atlantic bid on the. Uh, Twenty-six thousand four hundred forty-six dollars and seventy-one cents. Yeah. So which one? From, from Atlantic. 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 Okay. Yeah. Atlantic. I make that in the form of motion. Second. Motion by Jason Bullock. Second by Larry Morphy. Which is over two thousand dollars cheaper than the other one. Right. Okay. Okay. And uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion packed. And and let me tell you something. How I know we're doing good here. How we got a good price? It's because we anticipated it being over thirty thousand, and we wouldn't have bet. So that means that it came. They got a little all, bit less than we thought we were going to get it for. In my motion, just got a text. <laughs> allow and the treasurer to write the check. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And since you're watching, do you need three separate motions for the property taxes? No, I've, I've got that. <laughs> She's looking down on us, Miranda. She'll get back to you. Yeah, we'll see here. I got that. Way I understand it was that the PO is like a little weekly kind of thing. The company bill. Do I? The way I understand it, the manufacturers is the manufacturer part of the quote weekly time. So it'll just be a PO for right now. And once you get here, they'll get a okay. pair. 12 week lead time. Okay. 12 weeks, yeah. Good deal. Uh, you have the uh, conservation. conservation tax rate. Y'all have to see those, and I'm pretty sure they're exactly. Uh, they stay the same. They're just so low that the uh, that with the decimal wouldn't show a, a decrease or an increase. Yeah. Point zero zero nine, which that means that you'd pay. Ninety cents on a hundred thousand dollars. Do we acknowledge or accept? Accept. I'll accept that. That the rates are staying the same for yeah. this year. Okay. I'll second. Motion by Joe Barn. Second by Jason uh, Bullock. To accept the uh, salt conservation districts. Uh, tax rate. Do we vote? Yet? No. All in favor say aye. 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 Close. Aye. Aye. Um, yeah. Yep. The, uh, okay. These next several is for the water districts for the the intake. And if you'll see on your desk, I like this from Eric, where it tells you how they're doing the. Uh, we got to do this budget amendment, though. I'm sorry. Yeah. You're right. I'm gonna go ahead. I'll go ahead and make the motion for we accept the ordinance 2023-3 uh, budget amendment. Motion by Jason Bullock. And that is for the old Liberty Road second church Should project. Okay, second by Larry Morphy. And that's the first read. First read. Okay. <laughs> Any discussion? Being now, all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, Both like sign? You need a roll call. Yeah, that's right. Roll call. He's right. Thank you, Larry. Small? Yes. Pull up? Yes. Yes. Barnes? Yes. Morphy? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Morphy? Yes. That's the first read, so you'll see it again the next meeting. The next several motions are, I'm sorry I got out of order here, 
for the next several uh, motions is for the water district they got a million dollars for the intake down there at the uh, uh, at the water plant so that we'll have plenty of water coming into the plant right there yes sir and uh, so uh, the first motion will be to authorize me to sign the judge executive sign the uh, uh, all the forms for the CWG grant so motion by Kim second same with Sam Ma. Are any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carried. Okay, then we're into resolutions for the same for the same one. Uh, the uh, resolution 2023-9, the residential relocation uh, form. To say that we are not relocating anybody. I'll make the motion. I'll second. Motion by Jason Bullock, second by Joe Barnes. Okay, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Resolution 2023 20, 10, professional services uh, for the CDBG. Uh, the I can Water District. I'll make a motion. Motion to Sam Small. Second. Second by Larry, Larry uh, Count. Any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Okay. Uh, professional, I mean procurement code that will follow the procurement code in place. Uh, that's resolution 2023-11. Make a motion to accept resolution 2023-11. Motion by Jason, second by Jeff. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Resolution 2023-12 is the cost overrun and that's the form here that explains it. That was given to you. Uh, so, motion by Larry Cam. Second. Second by Tim's mom. And that cost overrun, is that just, that'll be taken care of by the water district? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll go out for uh, bank financing. Okay. All fair say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Uh, and the next item of business is, is a soccer game, right? What was that? That's the next item of business, <laughs> soccer game? Yeah, or with, soccer. yeah soccer game. Yeah, yeah, you better hurry up, we gotta go for the same one. I think, I think they called the soccer game off tonight, didn't they? There's little ones. Oh, uh, little, not the little ones, no. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure, what that, the resolution for the Old Liberty, Old Liberty, Liberty Church Road, Road we passed it. No, we, said, we passed an MOA, but I didn't realize in there they needed a resolution, and it was one apparently that needed to be typed up. So here it is. Just so this is 2013 right here? Here it is. Yes. Right here. Just saying we're getting the $400,000. Yes, we've already passed the MOA. And yeah. I'll, okay. I'll make a motion to accept uh, resolution 2023-13, the second. Old Liberty Road Church Project. I'll second. We have a motion to second. Is there any discussion? Being none, I'm going to say aye. Okay. Close the light side. Okay. Okay. Justin, would you take these next few items here and explain them? 
Uh, I just asked the court to consider maybe the inmate guidelines and rules for the Ohio County Detention Center with regard to the work crews. Uh, you know, because of COVID, uh, the work crew were certainly reduced and, and weren't used for a period of time. Uh, we've had discussions with uh, Hartford about uh, setting some guidelines and rules with respect to uh, the inmates and, and those involved on the work crews. Uh, I've supplied those to you with regard to the first one that we would consider is, is the requirements of the inmate himself, him, him or herself, and I'd ask you to consider that and um, approve those inmate guidelines and rules for the inmates working on the work crews. Uh, RIP uh, uh, reviewed this and, and made recommendations and, and asked for approval. I'll make a motion. Motion by Joe Barnes. Second. Second by Larry Morphy. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carried. Now this next one, is it an interlocal agreement? It is an interlocal agreement between the county um, and the city of Hartford itself with respect to the use of inmates. Uh, the city of Hartford, I think, is going to start back in using some of the inmates for their work crews. Um, and we wanted a, uh, uh, an agreement outlining uh, just exactly what the responsibilities are <coughs> and that's detailed in here and this interlocal agreement would be subject also to approval of the, uh, the Department for Local Government with the Commonwealth uh, uh, execution of same before it really becomes effective uh, but as my understanding the city of Hartford reviewed it and they've approved yes I believe so that's we would ask for, uh, so when, the, when they're out on their work detail they're responsible for them. yes yeah, so what we have is is that the city of Hartford would be responsible for the inmates uh, and they're to work, alert us if there is an inmate issue okay. for instance if, if an inmate escaped or something happened we would be immediately notified also if there was an injury or accident we would be immediately notified and, and uh, they're, they're taking some responsibility with respect to the inmates also they provide lunch and it outlines some of that stuff Okay. And what, they, so they'll cover their lunch and everything. What about our other cities? Do we need to like be around? Yeah. I'm not aware if, if any of the other cities that are using, if they do, we would recommend that the, the execution of this contract or approval okay. of this contract. All we have to do is change the wording from Hartford to Beaver Town or you know, Center Town or whatever. Right. Yeah. I think we need to make sure that they know that they're yeah. welcome to it. Yeah. That, at this time, there's no one else doing it. Yeah, but if they, if they choose to, we can write a contract with a similar nature. Okay. Right. I'll make a motion to accept the inmate uh, agreement. Uh, jail for the city of Hartford. I'll second. Or in a local agreement, whatever you Motion with Jason, second the job. Give me the second to share work in jail. I mean, I would I'll help the city who needs it. You know, uh, protect now. It's a great space. In a local agreement. Let's do that, yes. Uh, small. Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Cam? Yes. Morphy? Yes. Charlie, you need to figure out how you can do a second and third shift so you can we can free up more beds while those are out there working. Hey, I can do a second, y'all hire me a guy. Uh, on the uh, next one, the rules and regulations for the supervisors, correct? Yes, Jim. This last one would be the court to consider the guidelines and rules for those supervising in a sense. Whoever is supervising these inmates will be under certain requirements to make sure, you know, they don't go into a private location to make sure that the, uh, the inmates uh, don't receive any monies or any type of gifts or anything of that nature. It has about uh, 20, 24 requirements uh, that they need to abide by. And so ask the court to consider the supervisor rules and regulations of any of uh, the inmates. Yes, I make a motion to I say uh, accept the guidelines and rules for supervisors for the Ohio County uh, Detention Center's inmates. Okay. Who seconded it? I did. Second the Joe Long. I jumped again in there. You guys? Sorry. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Well, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Would y'all have any objections to what we talked about before? And we'll add one line to this to spell out what the uh, that the supervisors can pay for the uh, inmates' lunches. Yeah, I'm, I'm, 
You're okay with that? No yeah. thing? With them paying for them ambulances? Yeah, and then we'll price. Price. that price. price. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, we, we could just say as amended, you know, the price. Yeah. You know, put the price right now if you want, and then well, tell them as amended. Well, uh, well, what it is, we want to amend it a little bit right now. Oh, but, okay. And then we'll put that amount in there when we get researched and find out. Okay. It will not be more than a $5 increase. Yeah. I thought that what it's going to, Charlie was going to be. But we don't pay for that, though. The, the people responsible pay. Yeah, Charlie pays it when he's got it. Yeah. They're yeah. just taking it out of Charlie's budget. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there you yeah. go. That's what that, I thought that's what that And I honestly, it's from $10 to $15 we cover. That's what we say. Yeah. So. Yeah. We're good. Okay. I'm first say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Now we have an agreement there. You've got it. The Fearless Friends Agreement. That is a, what we did pass a motion on several meetings ago. And this is in regard to the old uh, animal shelter. And that is their official name. Uh, and uh, Justin, upon our request, some of us requested, he spelled out more details and we passed that night in their motion. Um, the lady that we're dealing with, I believe, has already agreed to this. So it spells out some call who the uh, as is. Is it number six yeah, is the as is the only change? Yeah, I, I don't think we necessarily accepted the agreement back then. I think what, what happened was is the court considered it and wanted the language, uh, a little yeah. change to the language as far as uh, indication of as is. And so yes. uh, we've provided that in the agreement and uh, Fearless friends accepted that. I think she's executed it. And we just asked for the court to uh, allow the judge to execute this agreement. I second. Motion for Sam Small, second for Joe Bond. Any discussion? By the, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna discuss, I think we've done a good deal there. I believe it. It's gonna take some of the load off of uh, Jennifer and uh, and I think that's good. What's well, a piece of property just sitting there with nothing going on with it too? So uh, it'll get more shape. It'll, it'll get more there. shape just sitting there by itself. Yeah, We've yeah. got committee reports in general here, but let's go on to the let's committee. Vote on that one first, right? Yeah, I'm sorry. You're right. Oh, All folks, aye. Aye. Close like that. Motion carried. Um, uh, committee reports. I, I've got weight scale under it, and I know they met, and they've got a lot to talk about. So let's go ahead and go with committee reports, and let's go ahead and talk to weight scale first, and then on the next one, I'm just going to name the committee. Gentlemen, I, I have the first thing for the weight scale, and uh, we wanted to add a, add a line for the incentives for uh, driving the low boy. Uh, and hauling equipment if uh, they're willing to do that and and uh, in all ways shapes and forms then uh, we'd like to add a line and increase their pay by 15 cents he's putting that in the form of a motion and that is in the form of a motion well, uh, motion by fan think about Larry Cam. You did the 15, correct? 15 yeah. cents. And uh, I, I know your intentions in that, so we might need to specify what the low boy is. And we are talking about the big uh, trailer that detaches from the truck and in and, and front and loads that way. Hauling heavy equipment. The haul of the heavy we equipment. Act, we actually only have one low boy up that, to my knowledge. Not the, the little drop deck truck. Not the drop deck that hauls. Uh, other things like the mini and the back hose and stuff. Right? Right. Right. Okay. Right. Just a just a little boy truck. Yeah, it, it takes care of the big truck. Yeah, I know. There we go. Yeah, I just want to I, I knew exactly what they meant. I it's the heavy sure wide load. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All first say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign? Motion carry. Now Joe, you're right. Uh yes, uh on the weight scale, we talked about the uh raise that we had a while back. We kind of uh, hashed it back and forth. So on the uh, road uh, department, we did a 7% raise on the base pay, but we need to back up and do it on the incentives, which will bring them to their current pay, the actual uh, dollar amount that they make, the hourly rate. Uh, we need to do it on all the incentives across the board um, so we can bring them up to par, and we need to back up from July 1st and back pay what 
they were shorted. Yeah, here's a second. Second. Second, Larry. More to the lines. Any further discussion? And just, just to point that out, it's, we're not talking very much at all. 10 12 bucks. We need to get it right on the uh, wage bill. Talking 8 cents an hour. Yeah. Talking on, on, on some on, of them. On, on the higher ones. Some of them would be a little more. Some would be maybe even a little less. Okay. Any further discussion? Being that, I'm fair to say aye. Aye. Opposed, uh, like sign. Motion carries. Um, as some of you remember, I know Jason and uh, and Larry Cam remember that our first term we began uh, have formed a committee called the One Up to try to encourage um, our employees to better themselves for educational attainment, skill attainment, or whatever. And this would be on their own time. This wouldn't be things that we send them to. And. Uh, uh, how that would be rewarded or encouraged can be a look at later. But right now, I just want to appoint a committee. Uh, I know that Jason is interested in education, so I would like to put him on there. I will put Ken, Ken, yeah, Kenny Autry on it. Okay. And uh, Jason, 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 Jason. I'm going to go ahead and uh, you're not going to like this one bit, but I'm going to go ahead and let Miranda in on that committee. And then, if y'all don't meet or, or do anything, I'm sorry, someone, somebody will get busted at. I'm not going to say who. Miranda, you're in charge of calling me. <laughs> okay. No, she won't really get busted at. Um, okay, other committees. Is there any other committees may I know the jail did. So Larry, you want to tell us about that a little bit? Well, with the help of Justin and Charlie, we, we met uh, a couple weeks ago up at uh, Other County. And I guess the status where we're at right now is the boys camp. The state is looking to surplus that uh, and the possibility of Wild County uh, and Butler County and Evans County picking it up at a minimal cost, I'm sure. Um, but that's kind of where we're at now. Charlie, Justin, you may want to elaborate that a little, whatever, but that was the bulk of the meeting, so. Well, we've got a consultant that sent us a proposal as far as, as uh, that goes, but there's some things that we would need to discuss with the committee, certainly, before we can take any type of action or right. request approval by the court, so. Hey, did we forward this to the governor's office? He wants to see it. Uh, I think the, well, I think the committee needs to uh, okay. take certain action before oh, I can okay. give a written proposal. Okay. okay. Yeah. In our next jail committee meeting is next Tuesday, the 4th, 30th, something like that. Yeah, you going up with us, Judge? Yes. Okay. I know. Justin and Charlie. When is it? Well, next Tuesday. No, okay. Okay. We, need, we need to leave here, Justin, about a quarter of four. We was late last time. I'm just going to really. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I feel better. Charlie's not driving, so uh, <laughs> I feel a lot better. We love y'all too. <laughs> uh, any any other committee That's reports? I don't have a committee report, but we need to probably figure out the uh, off-road vehicle. I think there was confusion on who was on the committee and who wasn't on. So we just need something to set that up. I was going to try to call one, but I ended up with so many committee meetings this time. Uh, so I think it's you and me and Charlie. Right? Yeah. So we need to just go ahead and we don't, we don't have any other additional meetings for the next court meeting, do we? So we need to look at for the next court meeting. Well, the problem is with that is the other people who's on the committee, they work uh, till five o'clock. I can work, I can do it late. Okay. So we can do it after, after the county meeting. Six o'clock. Yeah, it's set up before the, like on a Monday before the next fiscal court meeting. Yeah, that'd be part whatever. Whatever. Or we can do that work with me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I mean, I think it's going to get a lot of details. Yeah. It's, it's, really all of that. it's my understanding that we're talking about this doing maybe one segment of the county and try it on a basis and see how it works out or that's been a thing that's been mentioned now we haven't we haven't Nothing. really met to go forward with it uh we were going to look at other uh, counties because supposedly Muleburg county's done something yeah. and you know there's a lot of guidelines that could 
going to play into what they did and what we'd be looking at, but this is going to be nothing that's going to be taken lightly because it's the legal side of it, safety side of it, and then uh, um, there's, there's a lot of different things that's going to have to play in, be looked into in depth. Yeah. A person may want to ease into it, huh? Oh, yeah. So we're going to say at the next court meeting, uh, six o'clock. Yeah, so the okay. next court meeting may be six o'clock. Okay. Uh, we'll run a little late. We'll just have to speak a little later. Okay, appreciate it. On committees, it's not exactly a committee, but well, also real quick, right? the, ahead, the suicide ahead. awareness walk. Yes. Uh, Bill Hill. That is next Saturday at the park. Oh, uh, this so, coming. Not this Saturday, but the next. The twenty fourth. The twenty fourth. Just keep to remind people about that. We've been passing out flyers, and hopefully we'll get crowd again this year. This will be the third time. Good deal. Um, any other committee reports here before I ask for our tourism committee report? Tourism. Jody's here. Did you want to say something about the festival in 15 words or less? Uh, it was good. <laughs> we still need more. I thank everybody for their support. Your donation when you sponsored as an electrical elected official paid for all the volunteer meals. And that was 102 meals that you paid for. And some of those were county employees, and some were even from out of state volunteering. But we got Canada this year, and Alaska, wow. and Maine, and Florida, and California. So uh, we went all over, but um, absolutely no complaints. Everything went well. So. The, and from my perspective, it was the best entertainment that's ever been up there. Thank you. Uh, from for me, it was a top-notch lineup. But even the ones that you may have never heard of were outstanding as well. We did a Thursday Ohio County Citizens Free, <coughs> and 85 Ohio County people came up. That's great. That's, That's great. Any other committees you want to report before we go to? Yes, sir. I got one thing, but ain't no committee. Uh, I sent. I think I gave yes. you a picture about yeah. surplus of this trailer before I go in there. I, I would, I would uh, love for uh, to do that. Uh, you did, y'all did all see it beforehand, right? Yeah. Trailer, he wants surplus. Uh, do I have a motion? I make a motion surplus. Motion, by Sam. Second by Larry. Any more discussion? Oh, and and add, in the motion, he's going to sell it on good deals. Yes. Sixteen foot trailer. Close trailer. Yeah. Any other discussion? Big man on favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Uh, any okay, Sam. Uh just wanted to say everybody uh start watching out for your neighbors. It is starting to cool off. Just uh you know, watch out for them and, and uh anything we can do to try to help people stay warm this winter because it's coming. Uh, we need to start now and, and be prepared. Uh, and that's all I have to Jason. I got a couple things real quick. Okay. Uh, one is the uh, road. Uh, oh, shoot. The road we share out there. Something on mine. Which one? Goshen Church? Goshen Church. The intersection, we've had a lot of issues about it, 62. Uh, me and Nick met out there and came up with a plan that would uh, allow us to put a solid plastic pipe that's welded together that would make all those intersection points and then we could put gravel over it and make that intersection wide and uh, just cover it over and we can we won't have all those people running off in there and having accidents. Uh, I've got a price back on it. I'll have to send an email to Ann and we'll have to get look at getting uh, those people set up in the uh, our system. But it's around five thousand dollars, just a little over five thousand. And like I said, it's a solid uh, hard plastic pipe. That's uh, um, we use them at the mines. You can run a dozer over them; it won't hurt them. So, and we can just slip it into the head wall of the state uh, highway, and then we can we can widen that intersection out. It'd be the quickest, easiest, and most simple to uh, do. I mean, it would take but a couple hours to install it. I um, think it's great. Well, y'all, are you good with going ahead? Sure. 
So well, that, that's the general main side. We got that's that. on the 231 side. I mean, we the 62 side. The, uh, yes, 62 side. Yeah, 62 on side. The, on the east side of yeah. <coughs> All right, and then the other one is uh, got this. Uh, that's Rockport Boat Ramp. Just kind of mainly just uh, informing everybody because we've uh, been trying to do this on the dock. So here's some information on it. Uh, Charlie's been helping me with that extremely. He's been talking to all the people during the day uh, when I can't catch phone calls and everything on the information. We've met the uh, engineers out there and the dock builders. Uh, this is pretty much what we're going to consider going ahead and going with. We've got a line item that was set aside uh, years ago. I was hoping to get from Ann how much was left in that. Of course, that was pre-COVID. But uh, I think we're not too far out of scale, and this is coming in under 30000 So I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and go with this, and uh, hopefully if we're a little out of budget, my discretionary everything will take care of that. Because I know everything's gone up so much before COVID. Okay. If not, Charlie said he'd help me out. Yeah, you know, he really have an idea about how much you had in there. No, I, I was hoping to check on that, and when Ann got sick, uh, I don't have any certain, and I went back through all my paperwork that I had, but I didn't have that account. She a little bit more. Well, Joe, it's a y'all fix it where, like, when the water comes up, you can let it in and out. Yeah, what it'll be is it'll be a free floating dock, and uh, it'll have uh, come off the concrete uh, sidewalk we've got right there. There'll be five to eight steps. We're trying to get that that uh, right so then our ramp that goes on out to the dock won't be too steep it all be uh, aluminum have handrails you know it all be mounted and then every point will have a uh, quick attach uh, where you can unattach it you know after you unlock a lock or something that way no one tampers with it and then it'll free float out the river if you have to you have to get three away from it or pull it up on the uh, the, the boat ramp so Ann says she thinks there's twenty five thousand or maybe a little bit more, so that's not good. I was hoping it was, it was right around that amount, but I hated to say. So but anyway, this was gonna go ahead and give Charlie approval to go ahead and start, but it's kinda of wanted to this is a project with we've been trying to get done for years and it's finally getting done. Yeah, yeah. 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 Just informing y'all what's going on down there in case anybody right. question. Mm -hmm. um, on that line, but not exactly. I was I had a occasion to be with uh, Charlie, uh, who is our emergency management guy, and with Nick Woolen, who was who is the fire chief at Rosine, and uh, I asked him a question because of the flooding in Eastern Kentucky. It's not out of question that we could have it. And I asked him how well we were prepared for it. Come find out. Our rescue boat don't have a motor. And uh, so I told him to get one and I'd pay for it out of my discretionary money. <laughs> it was a whole lot more than I anticipated, but I've committed I'm going to do it. It's about near, it's closing in on $9,000. But our emergency boat will have a motor on it. And uh, I also urge any of you to think about that. Uh, any emergency could hit us, we need to be prepared for it. We've been preparing for another ice storm since 2009. And of course, you know, the last emergency we got was a uh, tornado, which was terrible, but it wasn't county wide. So now then that's a little bit of preparation for a flood in case we have one. But all of you be conscientious of uh, what we may need to do prepare for any emergency. What size boat is it, Charlie? Uh, 18 and a half. Uh, I'm trying to think how wide it was. I think it's like a... Oh, it's like a... At least, I think it's like 72 inches wide. It's got actually a sturdy bottom. Actually, we got it from the Army. They used it as a rescue boat. They sent it to us just with no motor on it. So we just have to motor for it. I've got a light, John. If something comes up, I can help with you. Good so, job. Yeah, we're going to get that. Paul, oh, well, yeah, I did. Uh, 
if you've been in contact with them, don't get our money for our black top this year. Or... Well, it kind of it's all rolled in with the flex. We're hoping to get the flex contract any time, so it's all it's tied with that. We'll see what anybody's got left after the, but because everybody had to subsidize their own road for the for the uh, blacktop with this. So we'll hope to have that information <coughs> soon. I do know, Judge, I think they're going to blacktop in 69. I've seen some signs of it. So yeah, uh, the bid budget, it was bid two years ago and it went way over bid. So they re-scoped it and re-bid it. I don't exactly know what that means. It's going to get all new pavement in that section. Yeah, but I don't know how much other things. Definitely need it. Do we ever get any more information on 136? We did. Yes, it's going to be next year, and the reason being is that the uh, all the engineering work wasn't turned in on time. Okay. And uh, uh, we uh, we fussed about that. Is that a is that just black cop or is that address the bridges too? It addresses one bridge. Yeah. Okay. And then two years later, it'll address another bridge and a little bit more black cop. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. So. so but it does not address uh, the curves at Woodward Valley. Like it was to straighten them out to where it wouldn't be so many wrecks there, but it don't address that. Gotcha. So it's possible that Halls Creek would be pushed back to next year? No, 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 no. We get it this year? Yeah, yeah. Now, Hall, that's, that's, that is, uh, that's uh, Flex Fund. Huh? Yeah, but when is uh, Scotty's? Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Well, hopefully yeah, any time. We're fussing now that they will probably head. Uh, I think they can get them all done this fall. They're going to do that $167,000 worth on Pond Run first because that's the governor's discretionary money that is kind of time sensitive. And then we'll start on the. Uh, we'll, we'll all call them again tomorrow. I'll call Scotty's again tomorrow. What is the status on the water line on down that way? It's no no change to the more um, I have concerns, but it's just hopefully it's all just uh, worth for nothing. Well, what will happen to that money if we don't use it this year? I mean, uh, just you know, we all got that timetable when how the, he's going to proceed with it from here. It's going to last time. I don't know how to answer that. It can't be repurposed. As far as, my, as far as I know. But, it can't be repurposed, but it can carry on over, though, can it? I think we're dragging our feet on that project. Yeah. Well, I can ask one quick for Joe over here when we got the answers we got last time. So hopefully, hopefully if we can make some progress. But I have nothing new since the last quarter meeting. Uh, I was a little bit concerned. I saw it on a list, on the same list with all of the Senate Bill 36 money, and it, it, I didn't think it was part of that. That pre-approved and all that was ready to go on it, but for some reason it was on the bottom of that list. That concerned me a little bit, but uh, I'll ask more questions about that. Anybody else got anything for the good, the bad? Yes, Joe. I, I do want to thank you all for paving that or chipping soon the road up to the home place. Um, it was a huge, huge improvement, and everyone commented from the vans, from the buses, from the pedestrians, everybody, and it just really made the place shine. So thank you very much for doing that. I want to tell people too. I forgot the word. Well, these are like the fair is going on this week. Yes. So. Our hot fair at 16th to the 18th of the year. Thursday, 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 Thursday. And I'll let you dig get your book. Um, anybody else have anything else for the good of the body? If not, this means a general.